to talk about indirect proofs uh, today. So, indirect reasoning. Indirect reasoning, all possibilities are considered, and then all but one are proved false. Okay? So an indirect proof, a proof involving indirect reasoning. So what we're kind of looking at doing is, is kind of going the opposite direction of what we were, were trying to prove and showing that our, we got something false. Steps in writing an indirect proof. Okay, step one, state as a temporary assumption the opposite or the negation of what you want to prove. So if I said, uh, I want to prove AG is congruent to AE, I would say uh, AG is not congruent to AE. That's my where I'm going to start. Okay. Uh, step two, show that this temporary assumption leads to a contradiction. Usually you're going to contradict your given statement. Okay. Conclude that the temporary assumption must be false and that what you want to prove must be true. Okay. Okay. An integer is divisible by five. Okay. So we're going to rewrite these in the negation. So how would I write an integer is divisible by five? We'd say an integer is not divisible by five. Uh, you do not have soccer practice today. So the negation of that is you do have soccer practice today. Okay. Okay. Which two statements contradict each other? Okay. So, uh, uh, Fg is parallel to KL, uh, Fg is congruent to KL, Fg is perpendicular. Well, which one of these can we not have? Well, I can't be parallel and perpendicular. I could be parallel and congruent and congruent and perpendicular, but I can't be parallel and perpendicular. So one and three. <clears throat> okay, writing it. So given triangle ABC is scaling. Prove angle A, angle B, and angle C all have different measures. Okay? So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to assume um, A, B, and C do not have different measures. Okay? So I'm going to assume uh, angle A, angle B, angle C uh, do not have uh, different measures, okay? So that's the first thing I, I'm going to do. So I'm going to take my proof statement and I'm going to make it. Well, what does this mean, okay? So the next thing is, is therefore, so what, what's going to happen is angle A is equal to angle B, uh, angle B equals angle C, Angle A equals angle C, or angle A equals angle B equals angle C. So I might have two of the angles are equal. A is equal to B, B equals C, A equals C, right? Or they all could be equal. Well, therefore, well, what happens if at least two of the angles are equal? Therefore, uh, triangle A, B, C is isosceles. Okay? Since it's isosceles, this is false from our statement. Therefore, uh, this is a false statement. Therefore, uh, my assumption is false and angle A, angle B, angle C all have different measures. Okay, I'm sorry, this kind of chicken scratch there. Um, so what I'm really looking at is, is kind of going from my proof, assuming that my proof here is going to work out. I get to a, a, a statement that is false from my given. It's something different from my given. Okay. 
Therefore, my assumption must be false, so my whole proof must be true. Okay? All right, why do jumberjacks, lumberjacks make good uh, musicians? It's because they're natural logarithms. Uh, what do you do if you're outside during a thunderstorm? Go inside, obviously. All right, so that's indirect proofs.